Can you tell whether you're going to be east or west of that bio? I'm hoping I pulled off to the north there right quick and we'll get the exit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you just go back out and go back in. In the back here? Your job is only part mm -hmm. of it. Oh, is you that right? I'll be glad to help. I mean, this this is life begins at 40, and this has been it here. It was. It I, I was, was excited just watching. The I, you know, I've, I've, I've really dreamed about this. Haven't I told you all I wanted to go yeah. on a hot air balloon ride? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, of course, I never thought I ever really would. It was the most outstanding thing. I mean, and you're, after I got in there, I thought, am I going to be scared? And I wasn't. It was smooth, and we just kept going higher and higher. And I could think, I'm going to get scared here any minute. And it never happened. We got up to 1,900 feet. And it just was, yes, I looked down. I looked at everything. I could see swimming pools, 
roofs on the houses and people and horses, horses, and the dogs were going crazy the whole time. You know, wherever you would, he would, you know, pull that thing of the blow the propane up, and it was just, just unbelievable. And what I thought of was my brand new student James, who I, I had just left on the ground as I flew away. <laughs> We, we talked about that. Did Didn't you talk about that? It, it, I told him, don't expect this every day. It's it's usually fun and exciting, but not quite this yes. fun and exciting. Yes. Well, we, I wanna... well, we watched you float right off into the sunset. Uh, yes. Or it was dawn just... or whatever. Yeah, and now it's cloudy out there. And, I, you know, I mean, talk about perfect timing. It was just... Where did you land? I can't believe it. Over past Bear Creek in a field somewhere yeah. past... I mean, the subdivision, way past the subdivision. It seemed like it was going very slowly. No, no, no. There was a truck. You know, when, when the hot air balloon yeah. goes up, then his crew that helps him get it up follows him in the truck. And he has a radio, and he communicates with the radio, tells him where you know, he thinks he's going to land. And, of course, it all is due to how the winds are going. And everything. The landing was a little rough. Because you suddenly come down, and, you know, it's like... He says, now you lean into the way that the, that the basket's falling. And so we were literally like this, coming down and bumping along the road and into the field. You know, didn't get hurt at all. But it was kind of a rough landing. Huh? Totally in shock. That was, it, it has been a dream come true. How can have a balloon? You can actually, have, yeah, this, and they gave me a pen. That's what they do. Anybody who goes up in the balloon, you have to do this, Mr. Smith. Uh, no. You, Thank you. you don't. You, that's not your dream. Mm -hmm. No, I, I get nervous on a thick carpet. A thick uh, carpet. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, it really was funny because I've ridden in, in jets before, and this was smooth. It was. It was. You know, I thought I'd feel like I was really out of control up there, that high. But you don't. Know, it's just. It was outstanding. Well, we we certainly enjoyed. Oh. We enjoyed watching you lift off. <laughs> well, that was hysterical. It's terrible. a birthday you'll never forget. It will be the one I never forget, and it's true. Life begins at 40. It, it does. certainly does. It, really, it was really a thrill. <laughs> it was neat. And the funny thing was, I didn't suspect anything at all. You did say, come last. Uh -huh. The kids asked me about that. And I thought, well, it was just because you'd gone around, and we just happened to be the last class to go. But as we're walking down that hall, and I saw this orange, big bubble out there, I began to think, no, it couldn't be. That, this is a parade, and that's all it is, and we're gonna, you know, and there's nothing more. Gonna get out there, and then you had Miss Land with her quiet little group Same out there. Group, yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> yes, well, this will be a, a birthday I will never forget ever. It was fantastic. Oh, great morning. You think you can teach school? I, I think I can. Okay. I may have to come back down to earth a little okay. bit of time, but I cannot thank you all for part of the secret. See, and he's been playing up like he never knew he really wanted to do this. Because I've so often I'll mention, you want to do what? And well, uh, John and I have been talking, I think the first time we talked was October or November. Mm -hmm. And we've been talking on and off about then. this. At the pageant we talk about it. And uh, <laughs> we've been making all the arrangements. Our one fear, of course, was the weather. Because the weather has to be absolutely perfect. And it was today. Yesterday I was nervous because the winds were at about 40 knots. I mean, there was uh -huh. a flag was about to blow right, right off the flagpole. And I could see Miss Newberry banging <laughs> up against our building, you know? So, you could come out and visit me flashing against the wall. You would be right now in uh, about uh, Duluth. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> well, the, the final thing was when the little girl came up and handed me the flowers, and I thought I was in the Olympics. I really did. I thought this must be how they feel thought, when, when, you know, they I, get the flowers. And they... I thought you were in a patch and you were playing the way go, mm. Oh, no, no, I'm just, I just love you all. I mean, I just, this has just, you don't understand. When you get to be 40, maybe you'll understand. I don't want to be 40. <laughs> you don't want to be 40. Uh, the alternative yeah. is not good. No. Yeah. <laughs> a few years ago, you don't want to be 40. 